This is the corner of the deck sill that's out in front of the of the uh, timber frame, which will be back there. Uh, and you can see on top of that platform up there is are the pieces of the back bent. And I haven't pinned those together yet, those pieces, but it's ready to go. I've been working on making the pins, which here's a tenon pin right here, and I would like to try to drive that in. Um, the uh, there's a hidden tenon, a blind tenon in that joint and this tenon pin is pounded down through the top. I'm using draw bore so the hole in the tenon in the hidden tenon that hole is offset by about an eighth of an inch. Actually, as I look down on the top of it, I can see I can see the uh, tenon pin hole there, and it's more than an eighth of an inch. It's almost a quarter of an inch. I meant it to be an eighth, so I'm a little bit skittish about pounding this in and running into difficulty, but. I'm going to, I've tapered the tenon pin. This is ash, and I work these on the shaving horse. So uh, I'd like to just go ahead and see how that goes. Uh, I've got both this tenon pin and the one on the, down on the right here. I've got to do that tenon pin as well. And after these are connected, then I can drill through uh, into the foundation pieces here and bolt this sill and that sill, bolt those sills down to the foundation. But I need to get the tenon pins in before I fasten them to the foundation. So let's see how this goes. This is oh boy, that is tightening up the joint big time. Okay. I'm stopping there. I think I uh, that's it. I'm through past the tenon and uh, I'm hitting solid sounding. So I'll saw that off flush and that joint has really closed up uh, quite a bit. So that draw bore does work. <laughs> 